lovelies, how are you doing? So today I thought I would do something a little bit different. I am already in full Christmas shopping mode as any of you that follow me know I absolutely love Christmas and I like to get a head start to spread the cost over a few months. The shops haven't been that great so far I think because of the delivery issues that we've got throughout the UK at the moment. I know this is something that's happening in other parts of the world as well. What I wanted to do was to show you a few bits that I've bought, bits that won't cost you too much money, but that would be nice as gift ideas, things you can pick up in the shops or online and you can get them delivered still. It's gift ideas, gift ideas for your loved ones for Christmas. <laughs> I also have a couple of little Etsy bits to show you. I'm not kind of big on showing you just Etsy bits because I know not everyone has access to that but I've had some bits recently that have been so nicely packaged and really reasonable prices so I wanted to share those with you as well. I don't know about you but even though the Covid crisis does appear to be fading a little bit I'm not ready to give up my mask yet. I wanted something that was going to be slightly easier to wear but breathable and still give me a bit of protection. I came across the idea for these from a friend of mine on Instagram and decided to try them out too. I bought two satin face masks. They are really nice, double-sided the satin is so that you don't get any rough edges against your face, which I really like because I had some, I wanna say chafage, but that's not the right word. But yeah, some irritation from the face masks. As you can see, standard sort of shape and they've got the elastic straps. These are hand stitched and they've also got some wiring in the either the top or the bottom, wherever you want to wear it, just to help keep that in place. I've gone for silver as a nice alternative to white. And the other colour I've gone for are this beautiful blue green teal. I really love it. These were from somebody on Etsy. I will link them down below for you and they were $3.95 each. So for me, I feel like that's a real bargain when you're thinking about a satin face mask. Next, I have a couple of bits of jewellery. I will only show you one, but I will put a picture here of the other one that I ordered. These were so beautifully wrapped that I really wanted to just show you because I think if you're buying that as a Christmas gift, it is so nicely presented. They came with a little bag of sweeties, which I always like as a little extra, and a handwritten note from the business owner, which was really nice too. This is a company called Wisteria London, and they do this really beautiful, dainty jewellery, and I just love it. So here is one of the pieces I bought. This isn't actually a Christmas gift, but I don't see why you couldn't gift that to somebody. I've gone for the gold colour here. I really like the shape of it. I think it's quite unusual to find a rectangle. There is a little trend with like tag necklaces, but I just feel like this is much more dainty than that. It's going to go with everything. This necklace was £24, which I feel is really good value. Feels like good quality. You also have the option to choose different lengths of necklace. The earrings are one of their best sellers that they've bought back for Christmas this year and they are £24. You can also get those with a range of different colours. So I chose the ones with the black stone in there. You can also get white, navy, green, purple I think. There are quite a few colours and I really love that idea. You can have like one of the different planets. <laughs> those are available from the Wisteria London website. Again, I will link that down below for you. Next, I'm sure you have been able to see these in the background. I bought a pair of candlesticks, just some really simple gold candles. I've got a bit of an idea for a theme for my Christmas table this year. We are having my mum over for Christmas dinner and so I want it's a bit of a special day of it. So the first thing I wanted to do was to have proper candles on the table. It's not something I would normally do. These you can get in gold or silver. They also have a longer version than this, a taller version. These are the short ones. They're from Wilkinson's, weirdly. They look like they're way more expensive than Wilkinson's. They're three pounds, three pounds each. So a nice pair for six pounds. Then to go in those, what I got from H&M, I bought a couple of pairs in different colours, but they just have their standard taper candles, 1.99 for a pair. 
and they are going to sit really well in there. I shall melt some wax in the bottom to hold them in place. I got the white ones and I open this one quickly. I got a sort of natural beige colour as well, which I can see already. Not really going to go with the gold. But the white ones will look lovely and they will go with my theme. So, you know, I think for £6 for the pair of those and then one ninety nine for a pair of candles, you've spent £8 there. These candlesticks are going to last you again year after year. A real good value for money. My plan for my Christmas table is to have white and gold as a theme or even ivory and gold. To go with my candles, what I plan to do is get some little white brush Christmas trees. I think I have some already upstairs, so that will help. I also have some little tiny gonks that I bought. I just love them so much. They're so cute. And they're wearing white as well, so they'll go nicely. And then my plan is to have these as the little neighbourhood houses. These were £2 for the pack of three from Hobbycraft and I'm going to paint these white so they can be dotted around with the trees and the gongs along the centre of the table. I have a gold and white reindeer runner to go along the length of the table and then a white tablecloth to go underneath. So it's kind of all pulling together gradually but it's taken me a little while to find the pieces. I was so chuffed with these. They are actually hanging decorations, they've got a rope on there, I don't know if you can see that, but I think I can probably just take that string out and then put it back in if I did want to hang them up in another year. Also from Hobbycraft I have these boxes, they do a couple of different shapes in these. I got the star ones, I just thought they were a bit unusual, and you can also get the Christmas tree ones, I think they do go out of stock very quickly, that would be the only thing I'd say, so you kind of need to get your skates on if you see they're in stock. This one was £1.50, it's normal cardboard that you can use to paint on or for decoupage, and then you have the little one there as well, which is £1. All I'm going to do with these is put some ribbon tie some ribbon around them so that they look like wrap parcels and then I will have those on display. The other thing I picked up from Hobbycraft was a couple of these stockings. I just think they're so lovely. These are velvet stockings. They are cream and red. They also do a blue version, a dark blue version or dark green version. I think they had a brown version maybe as well. I particularly wanted the red ones and the reason I wanted these is crackling because I've got like baubles in there. <laughs> the reason I wanted these is because I want to have stockings going up my stairway. So I bought a pair of these. They were only £3 each which is a really good price considering the price of stockings in general is quite a lot. I was surprised that I couldn't find a lot under £10 each so yeah £3 I feel like that is a real bargain. During my little hobby craft haul, I also went to the works and picked one of these up. This is a Christmas stamp set. So in here you get six stamps and four pads for three pounds. I thought it was such good value. You get the little square ink pads in there. I have red, green, gold and silver. So really nice Christmassy colours. And then you've just got like a little Christmas tree one. Uh, there's a Santa head. On the opposite end you have the wood print there so you can see exactly what kind of stamp they are but such amazing value really good value next i have something from the bookish emporium this is another etsy store that i found and i think this is the perfect one to show you for today actually because it is halloween themed in a way now i love anything that's dark fantasy anything tim burton love it love it sort of twisted horror i i am one of those strange people that likes that kind of stuff so i went looking for a bookmark and found this one on the website and absolutely loved it so cute so anyone that likes tim burton will know this quote from beetlejuice i myself am strange and unusual i don't think that's altogether untrue of me <laughs> and on the other side you have a picture of the ghosts with the iconic quote <laughs> so cute this was 2 99 but i think it's worth it it's nice quality i like the fact that it's double-sided and it made me laugh it made me laugh it is really really cute 
this is a great little stocking filler for anyone that likes this type of movie. Next I have something to show you that I bought for my mum. I really hope that none of my friends and family are watching this because some of these gifts I am gifting to them. So if you are one of my friends or family, please do not look for the rest of this video. <laughs> okay? Good. Okay, so I got these from eBay. I'm sure you can get them from many retailers out there. These are by Gisela Graham and they are so cute, aren't they? And they are like a sort of decoupage again, but it's wooden bird uh, with your little metal legs there. This one, I believe, is a grouse, although I think it kind of looks like a partridge a little bit. I also got a Christmas pheasant. How cute is that? Really like these colours together as well. I, they had a couple of different designs, different colourways with these. I particularly chose these two for the person I had in mind. That's my mum. I'm going to give these to her as an advent gift on the 1st of December. Yeah, I am that Christmas crazy that I give advent gifts. And then she can put them on her Christmas tree at the beginning of December and enjoy them all month long. Because I feel like if I give these to her for Christmas, she's only going to have them out for a week and then they'll go away again. So a little bit early. In the other shops that I have seen these in, they've been $6.99 each. I found them on eBay for $4.99 each, so I got the pair for £10, which I think is really great. Last one behind me. This is a little gift that I picked up when I got my food shopping. I happened to get it from Mercado, and I saw this. This was £5, and I think it's really cute. Nice metal biscuit tin. In there, you've got butter, toffee, shortbread thins. Yum. And it says on the front here, all you need is biscuits. I couldn't agree more. Love it. Love it, love it. Next, I've got a little goodie I bought from Shein. I very rarely buy anything from them that isn't clothes because I do really like their clothes. Um, and they do such good price. But when I saw these, I was like, ah, oh, I need to buy this for somebody. So here we've got a glass Ball. you could use this as a paperweight it has got a slightly flattened bottom but not a lot so my plan is to buy a wooden stand for this they had a number of designs but this one particularly I liked it is a Christmas tree it's cut into the glass and then you've got the presents around the bottom there there's a little train there's a snowman absolutely adorable the attention to detail on here is amazing and i know you won't be able to see that really mm. yeah it is very difficult to see that on the video um but there are tiny little bristles on all the branches you've got tiny little bits of ribbon you can see the snowman's holding a candy cane honestly it is amazing this was £4, so not ridiculously cheap, but not expensive either. I was ordering a bundle of stuff, so I got this as a little extra. It arrived wrapped up and then in a box, so it was well protected. And yeah, I think that will be a lovely little gift. Along with my Christmas tree ball, I picked up this little chalkboard sign and a stand as well on the back. This I will be using for my hot chocolate stand that I'm going to put together this year. And I got a little canvas as well. This was 50p. I can't quite remember where I got this from. Might have been Poundland. But 50 pence. This was a pound. And I'm going to write hot cocoa or hot chocolate or help yourself or something like that on both of these. And then they will sit on my stand amongst my hot chocolate sachets and marshmallows and other little goodies. Lastly, I have this little selection here. This arrived this morning and it was one of the things that prompted me to make this video because I just loved the wrapping so much. It's really, really cute. And I think you could gift any of these things straight away to someone and they would never know that you hadn't wrapped it like this. In there you have some parcels and you can see they're already wrapped. Cute. How cute is this? Someone that actually puts this much thought into a gift that they're sending out to someone. I just love it. I love it so much. I won't open this one or this one. I will show you some pictures of what's inside. Here is number one. And here is number two. I did buy this that will go in my kitchen. So I will 
go ahead and unwrap this one for you. Again, this came with a handwritten note from the business owner to say thank you, plus a voucher for next time. Really nice little extra in there. And this really wasn't that much. Candy cane lane. This is going to go up in my kitchen. I can't wait to put this up. I have a kind of dark wood and then a red and white traditional kind of theme in there. Just very warm, very traditional. Really like it. So yeah, this is going to fit in so well. Candy Cane Lane, it is embossed on the front there and this cost me £5.95 so really not a lot, absolutely loved it. The company I bought this from, their postage and packing is only £1.99 so not very much at all in the grand scheme of things, I've paid nearly £5 for some recently. And this is from a website called thecreativegifter.com, I will link them down below again along with everything that you've seen here and yeah another great idea for if someone you know loves Christmas stuff then this is going to be right up their street. Who doesn't want to go to Candy Cane Lane? There you have it, there are some little ideas and treats that you can get for your family and friends this Christmas or for yourself. <laughs> I hope you like this video, I have lots more like this coming up. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you do and I will see you all next time. Have a lovely weekend, bye!